haven't caught a smallmouth bass in over eight years. But I caught a whole bunch of sheephead. Stinky, slimy sheephead. I came all the way back to Canada to catch the garbage fish. Yeah, welcome back to Canada. But I do believe it was John's fault. He rigged it up for me. He even put that tube jig on there. I didn't even get the choice in it. Try purple, he says. <laughs> Guys, we done it. I got a smallmouth. <laughs> Eight years in the making. That certainly doesn't look like your typical Florida lake out behind me, because it's not. I'm up here in the great white north, Canada, my home country, trying to remember my roots and how I used to catch fish up here, fishing Lake Erie and these waters out here. And of course, while being here, I had to go ahead and try my hand at a little northern bass fishing. Certainly proven to be a little bit more difficult than I remembered. That's called a deep V-Haul. Look at that, yeah. It's a bass boat with a V-Haul. We don't use those in Florida. That's a little crazy. There it is, guys. This is where I grew up, guys. This is where I grew up learning how to fish. There's giant smallmouth bass out there. Great big northern pike, sturgeon, walleye, and giant muskie. Tons of fish out there. Today is going to be a great day. This is going to bring back a ton of memories. It's finally happened. After about 10 years, I'm home. Let's go, guys. Here we go. Detroit River headed out to Lake Erie. Beautiful spot. Look at that water, guys. Don't ever let anybody tell you Detroit River and Lake Erie is dirty. Look how clean that is. That's like Caribbean blue. So what are you doing? You're just driving around and graphing, like trying to find a certain depth, or what are you yeah, looking for? I'm taking the wind into consideration because I know it's going to blow us right back. But we kind of got a kind of cool wind because we're going to cover some different depths. So this is just an area you knew about already? That Got some bottom contours or something? Yeah, I, or? I used to fish this spot in tournaments. I haven't okay. fished Erie for bass in years, man. So check it out. This is what we're doing, guys. We're dragging these tube jigs around. They got a little quarter ounce tube jig head in there. Good buddy of mine from back in the day, Dominic Giannotti, actually makes the jig heads here and sells a lot of these. And I'm going to put it down in the description, too, all his information. Dom's a good friend of mine up here and an excellent bass fisherman in this Detroit River, Lake Erie, Lake St. Clair area. And this has just exploded. The bass have always been good on Lake Erie, but now over the years of the introduction of these gobies, I think they came from Europe somewhere, and the bass have figured out that they're actually easy prey and taste really good, and the bass have just gotten huge, huge and huge numbers. So this is still the preferred method for smallies up here. Everyone dra dragging these tubes, right? Yeah, just drag it. Oh. Yeah. Now, that was a a bunch of little bites. Da -da 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 -da. Would that have been a bass? Oh, yeah. yeah, that's how they're biting it. I can't. It's been so many years. I don't remember how they bite. Now, what, what is this? Is this like a rocky bottom down there? Yeah. Yeah, rock sandy. There we go. Oh yeah. Man, she's strong. That's gotta be a smallie. Probably lip them. See how big it is. Whoa. I forgot how strong these boys are. These bronze backs. Whoo. Wow guys. Incredible, you know. I catch some big large mouths. You guys all see that. This is pound for pound. Is that a big, oh, it's a big shit head. Oh, That's why. Yeah. Oh no. What were the rules about that? <laughs> Do we call these sheep heads? Up here, these are big freshwater drums. Oh, this is a big one though. It's a big one. Yeah. It's a big one, guys. But that there is a freshwater drum or known as a sheep head here. And yeah, not, not what we're trying to catch. Right church, wrong pew. Right church, wrong pew. You know I'm a bass fisherman when I'm lipping a sheephead. Yeah. Oh, 
here we go guys big old stinky slimy sheephead yeah welcome back to canada <laughs> oh wow it's a fish i did not get skunked he did fight strong though you know that's like down so we catch these bowfin yeah. mudfish and you know what you get upset when you get them because that's not what you're going for the worst problem about them is they fight so good and they're so big that you think you got a trophy bass yeah and it turns out to be a stinking both and you get a little upset but the truth is they actually fight really good Same that's a lot of fun just like that sheep head yeah you didn't want them you're upset that you got them but actually that was a pretty fun fight largemouth uh, mistake. I felt them and I let let go, let them eat it a bit before I set the hook. Should have set it right away. Oh yeah! There it is! The first bronze back! Johnny's got the first smallie on board here. Oh nice! That's a nice smallmouth too. Three pounder. They're real, real pale out here. There you go, guys. Lake Erie Smalley. Probably two and a half, I'd say. Yeah, two and a half. Maybe close to three. Oh, penalty. Yeah. Beautiful. Fish in for musky. Really makes a difference. In those oh, there you go. That's a good hit. That was a good hit. A good I almost hit. pulled the rod out of my hand. Do you see that? That's a good call. Yeah, she's coming up. I think she's coming up. Oh. oh. I'm not sure yet. No, another oh. shit. <laughs> well, I'm good at catching these things. Another sheep head. He did hit hard, though. Almost pulled it out of my hands. Another sheep head is dogging down. Is it? <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> Another sheep head. Man, I'm good at these things. You really are. <laughs> I was like, no one's got a sheep head on my boat in three years. No, honestly. And I've caught three today. <laughs> yep. I don't know. That's a sign. Oh, let's go walleye fishing. Yeah. We're going to switch things up here a little bit. Do something I haven't done in about 10 years at least. And we're going to do a little walleye fishing. Walleye up here are abundant, especially Detroit River. Johnny's actually a much more avid walleye fisherman and musky fisherman than he is a smallmouth guy. But uh, he wanted to take me for some smallmouth. And we, we could run across them here too. We're doing a, a method we call vertical jigging for these walleye. Using these heavier jigs. And this small little, looks like a drop shot worm to me, but I guess it's kind of imitating a leech or something. But I'm really excited because it's giving me a chance to use this new casking setup that I've got here. This is the new Resolute Rod. It's an IM7 blank. It's got these awesome uh, new uh, microwave guide systems here from American Tackle Systems. It is an incredibly strong yet sensitive blank on this rod. Really well made. Got the really cool golf grip style grips here. And of course, I got my bassinator reel on there. But the best thing about this setup is I'm all the way here in Canada and I live in Florida. It's not easy to transport stuff. This is actually a two-piece rod. It's easy to travel. I didn't, even have to, I didn't even have to check it in. I actually was able to carry it on board to the plane with me and put it up in the, the closet where you would hang your coats up and stuff. I'm going to put it to the test, use this bass fishing gear to try to catch some north walleye. So we're actually fishing the mouth of the Detroit River over here, and this is Lake Erie. A lot of good current pushing us out, lots of moving water, which is going to attract a lot of bait fish, of course, and of course the big walleye. Oh, I wrapped my line, I didn't realize that. Let's see if we can fix that. You on? My tip was wrapped too. Yeah, I got to do a fix here. Trying to keep the tension on the fish. I got him. He still got him? He still got him too. There it is. Oh, that's not a walleye though. 
Yeah, it is. Just a tiny one. Little girl. First walleye I've seen in a long time, though. Oh, I'm sorry. I oh, that's all right. We'll, I think we're going to get another one. Figure that out. There we go. Oh, he's off. I think he's off. No, I got to go. What? Hey, I got a smallmouth. <laughs> Look at, oh my God, I brained him. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Is he big enough to lip? Can I lip him? Can I lip him? I literally put that hook through his brain. Snagged him. Oh, yeah. No, it's, it's just in the meat right behind his head. Yeah, beautiful little smallmouth. God, that'd be great to put that in my fish tank. Throw the tubes down. <laughs> Guys, we done it. Eight years in the making, and I got my first bronze back on. I'm going to drop down and see if I can steal his brother. Look at that. Not a giant, but what a great fight on this little fish, too. I'm going to give him a nice little boat flip. Get him in there. There it is. About a pound, pound and a half, but I'm back, baby. There we go. Mikey's in the game. The oh, look at it. He's got a, got a big old shatter something in his mouth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look at him spitting that thing up. Oh. No, he's spitting it right out. There it goes. <laughs> Hungry. There it is, guys. My first smallmouth in at least eight years. Caught right where, pretty much right where I caught my last one eight years ago. Beautiful fish. Good job, Mikey. Thanks, Johnny, for putting me on this again. Well, we know what they're eating here. This thing was sitting in its mouth. That's what he spit up. I don't know what that is. Kobe. What is it? No, it's like a little white bass. Oh, yeah. yeah I think good. it's a little white bass. But yeah, he chomped on that and then chomped on my tube jig, which really isn't all that far off. There we go. <laughs> Tell you guys, what a blast. What a blast. Reliving all these memories. I haven't been on this waterway in, in at least 10 years, if not longer. I haven't caught a smallmouth bass in over eight years. Hadn't caught a walleye, still haven't caught a walleye in over 10 years. <laughs> Just wasn't there today, but it was insane getting out here and reliving these memories. I haven't seen Johnny in, God, 15 years at yeah. least, minimum. Yeah, minimum. Hasn't changed at all. Got Get a out. little fatter, didn't I? I, I well, I, it's proportionate because <laughs> I got a little fatter too, so you're still just as big yeah. as you always were to me. We didn't have a bang up day, but I did get my first smallmouth in eight years. But I caught a whole bunch of sheephead, guys. And you know, I know I made it look Make good. Sure you and made throw it look those like in the video, eh? Well, I'm gonna have to. We didn't catch enough fish to, for a video. So the sheephead are going. I came all the way back to Canada to catch the garbage fish. But I do believe it was John's fault. If you notice in the video, I'm using all of his gear. He rigged it up for me. He even put that tube jig on there. I didn't even get the choice in it. He's throwing a big dark one, catches a nice big bass. And yeah, here, sheep try after purple. Sheep after. He tells me too, and I don't even know if it was on camera. Yeah, try purple, he says. He all year long, he's caught maybe two sheephead. I catch three today alone. You telling me that's just a coincidence? I don't know about it. But nonetheless, it could just be a good old practical joke that these Canadian boys are playing on this foreigner now. Hey, we're gonna get Mikey back. It's gonna, I know everybody always says it. Yeah. Next time it's gonna happen. Oh, last week they were on fire. He said the same thing. But I'll tell you, I know, I know he's telling the truth because no. check it out, Big John's got his channel. I'm Big John. I'm realistic, guys. If I go in and get nothing, I'm not afraid to tell you. But yeah. we all know, we're all fishermen. We're all full of crap. So we all tell tall tales, so that's the way it is. But John has become a, a, actually a really good musky fisherman up here. Everyone knows of Big John here. Check out his channel. I'm going to leave it down in the description below. But Big John here, you want to have some fun, have some laughs. His videos are hilarious. And he catches big fish. Big musky, lots of walleye, and kills the bass up here in Canada. It's true, guys. You can catch bass in every corner of this world. And right here in Canada, this is one of the best places there are. Lake St. Clair, Detroit River, Lake Erie, world renowned for, for smallmouth bass and big musky and of course the walleye. So great place to come fishing and I'll be back. Well guys, one last time from beautiful North Canada, Captain Mikey signing out. Future is bright. You keep those.
Lion State.